brand tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 22H2, KB5022913, which is currently undergoing its final testing in the release preview channel before Microsoft rolls the update out to the stable version over the next couple of days towards the end of this month, February 2023. Now, um, the current uh, OS build for version 22H2 is 2261.1265 and as we can see uh, if you do decide to install this update um, as it will be an optional update the point release for the OS build will be upgraded to 1343 or somewhere in that vicinity. Now um, there's quite a lot going on in this next op optional update and um, there's no uh, fewer than 13 new improvements and fixes so quite a lot to get through for the purpose of this video so I'm just going to get going and try to get through this as quick as possible. Now I'm going to be using the stable version, so I haven't received these features yet, but um, I'm sure that by the end of this video you will get the general idea. Now the first new feature uh, is the update will provide access to the Windows Studio effects directly from the quick settings um, from the system tray in the taskbar, and basically this will make it easier and quicker to turn on and configure camera effects that include things like background blur, eye contact, automatic framing, and audio effects, which is also known as voice focus. And then if we head over to the settings app, to the system page, and we click on the troubleshooters, um, the update has also made it easier and will make it easier to get help if you are having PC issues. And there's going to be a link to the Quick Assist app at the bottom of the settings, system, and troubleshooters page, which I actually think will be a nice move in the right direction. To just make it quicker to remotely help somebody if they are having and experiencing issues using the quick assistant app and then taskbar search is going to be finally getting um, all the different new treatments rolling out and um, it's going to be getting the new search box which basically means that it won't just be a button like it currently is and the search box um, you'll actually be able to type your search directly into the search box very similar to how it is over on windows 10 and um, if we just head back to the settings app personalization and we head to the taskbar page, you'll also get options um, for the search when the update does roll out, where you will be able to change the search to just the magnifying glass, the current button, or to the search box and so on. So you will have a couple of different options available, which I think will be nice to um, just personalize that to your own personal choice and preference. And then also the update um, provides energy recommendations. So um, if you do use these energy recommendations, they could help improve the energy efficiency of your PC and reduce your carbon footprint according to Microsoft. And that will be available when it does roll out. If we just head back to the system page and um, the power and battery. So quite a lot going on in the uh, settings app for this next update. Power and battery. And on this page, there will be a energy recommendations that you will be able to reduce and tweak your carbon emissions so to speak according to Microsoft. Now I'm heading back to the system tray and um, uh, this is going to be getting some improvements and all icons will have a rounded focus and hover treatment uh, in the lower right and that will also include icons uh, in the show hidden icons fly out menu so this will take on a more rounded effect and you'll also be able to move icons to rearrange them in the show hidden icons and that means that show hidden icons and um, your system tray icons will be able to be rearranged which I think is a long time coming and then um, moving on to the next and I have covered this in detail but just to mention this quickly uh, it's also going to introduce a touch optimized taskbar for two-in-one devices that are basically used as a tablet and you're going to get two um, states for your taskbar a collapsed and a, an expanded state and I have as mentioned focused on that quite in detail over the last couple of months and then just to mention the last um, five six or seven for the purpose of today's video because as mentioned there's quite a lot going on with new features now there's quite a bit going on with ex accessibility features which you can access uh, currently on your accessibility page and uh, the first two are for Braille devices. Uh, the update will provide enhanced support for Braille devices. Um, 
basically they will continue working while you switch between the Microsoft narrator and third-party screen readers and then following on to the next one uh, it's also going to add support for new braille displays and new braille input and output languages in the narrator so two braille improvements rolling out in the next updates and some nice access accessibility features being made available and then um, a couple of, uh, of voice access um, updates. Now, just to go through these as quickly as possible. And to get to your voice access controls, you head to the accessibility page, speech, voice access. And here you'll see all these new improvements roll out on this page. Now, just to go through these, um, it's made voice access more flexible and supported interaction with more user interface UI controls. Um, the update will also add voice access support for spin controls, thumb controls, and split buttons. And you can interact with these controls by using the click command or number overlays. And um, it's also going to provide voice scrolling improvements. So you can use your voice to scroll to the extreme left and right on a page. So a couple of voice access improvements for accessibility rolling out. And then the final two new improvements for today's video. Uh, for devices that were joined to the AAD, that's Azure Active Directory, the update will provide AI-powered recommended content on your start menu. So some artificial intelligence-powered uh, um, improvements coming to the start menu for AAD uh, devices that were joined to AAD. And on the start menu, um, you can find content to help you to prepare for meetings, quickly access files you were collaborating on, and more. And then the last one, they've added the new Tamil Anjal. Now, I hope I've got that right. Tamil Anjal keyboard for the Tamil language. And then just heading back to the release notes, that those are the 13 new improvements we have quickly gone through. So a lot going to be going on with the next optional bug fix C release update rolling out. And then also we get the bug fixes that bring numerous other improvements to Windows 11 and will bring numerous improvements to Windows 11 version 22H2. And because there's so much going on, I will leave these release notes in the description if you'd like some more in-depth info. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.